some of the plays that he manages to pull off are Patrick Mahomes esque. It's oh my ab- God. every single person swears up and down that Caleb Williams is Patrick Mahomes. He is nothing like Patrick Mahomes. Nothing. <laughs> you know, yeah, he can do some off script stuff, but every Russell Wilson does off script. Kyler Murray does off script. Aaron Rodgers. I mean, uh, Matthew Stafford does a little bit of off script. So, oh God, it's just it's such a lazy comparison. <laughs> Caleb Williams is projected to be the number one quarterback taken off the board in this 2024 NFL draft, but Drake May is getting a lot of attention. Uh, and there's like five or six other quarterbacks in this draft that could potentially go in the first round. So I don't think it's a Caleb Williams is a clear cut favorite, but many of the experts do. Let's check out this video on Caleb Williams versus Drake May. And I'll share my thoughts on the end. Today, I'm going to shed some light on some of the potential best quarterback prospects the sport has ever seen. Caleb Williams. On second down, Williams. Faked it. Williams is going to throw to the end zone and it's caught. Touchdown. And Drake May. Oh, yeah, they're waiting to see as well. So another third down for May. They said he can run. And Drake May. Big game for the Redshirt. Fr- he can run a little bit. Now, for me, I am going to go back and watch. I got to go watch a lot of tape on Drake May before I make a real comment, some real commentary on him. But I have watched a lot of film on Caleb Williams and. I think Caleb Williams could be a he could be a great thrower of the football. I think he is a great thrower of the football at the college level. Why he hasn't reached the the you know playoffs and you know all that stuff and maybe do that. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know. <laughs> but for that reason, that's why I think that maybe we need to pump the brakes on the Caleb Williams is, you know, Patrick Mahomes. I think he's more aligned with Aaron Rodgers, a really great talented thrower. Uh could potentially get you one or two, maybe get you two Super Bowl, maybe win you one. Could be, you know, Aaron got one. Pat Mahone got like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten soon, you know. But I think Kayla Williams is more Aaron Rodgers than Patrick Mahomes, even though all the experts say that he's Patrick Mahomes in, a, in like a shorter body. So I think he's like six foot, six foot one, uh, probably two, two thirty, two fifteen, you know, somewhere around there. Uh, Drake May is like 6'5", 230. You know, long going, the t- prototypical size. You know, the Josh Allens, the Herberts, all them of the world. He got that size, but we're going to have to see what he do. Let's start things off with Caleb Williams. Just a quick reminder that you can use code 2GOLD for $20 off your first purchase on SeatGeek to any live event. And I will link the full link. I will link this video in the comments below just in case you want to watch it. Without my commentary uninterrupted, I know y'all, some of y'all don't like it. Caleb Williams is six foot, 215 pounds. His elite arm talent combined with his ability to feel pressure inside the pocket while keeping his eyes downfield is what makes Caleb Williams such a highly valued prospect. Williams is always trying to win from the pocket. All the greats, Tom Brady, Joe Montana, Aaron Rodgers all understand that your best pass comes from being inside the pocket. So the fact that Caleb Williams possesses this trait of wanting to stay in the pocket to make the best possible pass and feeling pressure makes him such a highly valued quarterback prospect. He opens up so much space in defenses with his legs, but it's not like he's just going to scramble after getting out of the pocket because his arm strength is crazy high that he can throw pinpoint passes most quarterbacks can't. He's So far, it is... This evaluation is is spot on. Let's see, let's see where it goes. Also extremely athletic. The fact that he's able to run just fast enough. Did y'all see that release right there? No, I don't think he's extremely athletic. We're gonna have to see what the combine says. I don't think he's I think he's athletic enough, but did y'all see that whip? He just just dropped that and dropped that angle and threw it in that hole. Like, come on, bro. That was good. That was good. That boy good. Enough to the point where nobody can catch up to him on the field while Watch still this. being able to throw the ball in places most quarterbacks that? can't makes Caleb Williams so good. Caleb That's Williams crazy. does all the little things right while still being really athletic and having elite arm talent like going. Caleb Williams does not do all the little things right because he did all the little things right. He would have won more games. So there is, some, you know, oh, his defense this, his defense that, but 
when you win, you get the credit. So when you lose, guess what? You get the blame. Through his progressions, faking out defenses with Ooh, his eyes. Yeah, Everything this. a great quarterback does, he has shown signs of. But to top it all off, the reason why Caleb Williams could be one of the greatest prospects we've ever seen is that he's the sickest playmaker I've ever watched in college. Here's the previous play as SC hurries it up. You're thinking Caleb Williams throwing it down out of bounds. Eyes to your point down the field. How about the location? Some of the plays that he manages to pull off are Patrick Mahomes-esque. It's oh, my God. Every single person person swears up and down that Caleb Williams is Patrick Mahomes. He is nothing like Patrick Mahomes. Nothing. <laughs> you know, yeah, he can do some off script stuff, but every Russell Wilson does off script. Kyler Murray does off script. Aaron Rodgers. I mean, uh, Matthew Stafford does a little bit of off script. So oh God, it's just it's such a lazy comparison. Absolutely insane what he's able to do when he stretches out a down to four or five seconds on a play. The combination of being able to throw the football 40 plus yards down the field outside of the pocket, cross body, or leaping off his feet because of how incredible his arm is, with the ability to turn lost plays into 25 yard gains because of how long he could stay up for, is what makes him special. He also knows when and where the rush is coming from, and he can fit the ball basically anywhere on the field. That's rare. Six foot, two fifteen, elite arm talent, feels uh feels now let's talk pressure. About Drake. I thought it was, I thought the evaluation was good. It was solid. I just I just don't like the Patrick Mahomes comparison. I just <sighs> can we dig a little bit deeper in the archives? Patrick Mahomes, I mean Aaron Rodgers, Matthew Stafford, Tyrod Taylor, Deshaun Watson, like all these people. They throw a good, they throw a great football. Were they, were they as prolific as Caleb Williams in, in college? No, no. But the a hey, Deshaun Watson, well, that's a better throw of the football than than this dude coming out of college. But that's another, we can talk about it another time. Let's go. <laughs> Drake May is 6'4", 230 pounds. You gotta love his size for a quarterback, the traditional build, if you will. But Drake May is far more than just his build. Just like Caleb Williams, Drake May has incredible arm talent and elite arm strength. But May's strength is different than Caleb's because Williams can make passes in any pressure and through any space, whereas May just has a cannon for an arm. He has an arm similar to the likes of Justin Herbert, especially in his form. May can just throw extremely accurate balls and throw it 60 plus yards down the field with ease. He's also extremely athletic for his size as well. But it's come on, dude. You can't say everybody extremely athletic. Kayla Williams is extremely athletic. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're good athletes, but they're not elite athletes. No, cut it out. They're not Lamar Jackson. That's trait by because you would describe Lamar Jackson as extremely athletic. And you will not put either one of these dudes on the line with Lamar Jackson. Cut it out. Far is he is the best pocket passer in all of college football. No, bro. That's Michael Penix. I know he's stiff and all that stuff, but that's Michael Penix. Michael Penix, Penix is the best pocket passer in, the, in college football right now. Don't care what you say. Don't care how you feel about it. Michael Penix is the best pocket passer. Don't care. Williams can feel pressure and keep his eyes downfield staying in the pocket, and Drake May is version 2 of that, but goes through his reads much quicker and is arguably more accurate. His deep ball accuracy is unmatched. He also has excellent vision on the field, making pro-level reads with very little mistakes on the coverage, and his size helps with that a lot because he could see over his offensive line a lot of the times. Now, I will say this. In this clip, that I've watched of Caleb Williams and Drake May head to head. I do think that Drake May does a better job of completing throws into tight windows. When you watch a lot of Caleb Williams plays, he's throwing probably in most cases, he's hitting a wide open receiver due to great play design and everything. He's with a great coordinator. He has a great coordinator with Riley, head coach slash coordinator with Lincoln Riley. So that's to be expected, but so I think, I think, I think Drake may may be a little bit more accurate. Obviously, uh, Kayla Wiz is great outside the pocket and throwing off script and buying time behind the line of scrimmage. Drake looks a lot stiffer, <laughs> a lot stiffer than than uh, Kayla Williams. Uh, Kayla looks a lot more athletic, uh, just like in short area, not like straight ahead speed. Drake may may actually run a faster forty than. Kayla Williams, he, he could, he really could. Uh, uh, 
I don't, I don't know, but in this comparison head to head, he does. He like he's completing more passes to uh, tight coverage. They like they say, man, either you are you hitting open receivers or are you throwing receivers open? And I think that's kind of the difference between Kayla Williams and Drake May. Just on this little sample clip, like Kayla Williams is hitting open receivers, but in a few of these plays. Uh, Drake May is uh, uh, throwing receivers open. So I like it. It's good. It's fair. Now let's talk about the difference between the two. Honestly, there's not really many differences because when you see quarterback pro yep. prospects like these guys that are basically generational with very little flaws to point out, their games can be very comparable, but there are flaws to point out. For starters, Williams is by far the better playmaker out the pocket. May is great on the run and super tough to bring down like Justin Herbert or Josh Allen because of his size, but Caleb Williams makes unprecedented throws that a defense can't account for. Williams also moves slightly better in the pocket. Both of these players have wild footwork that really needs some fine tuning, especially when it comes to downs on six man rushes. They really struggle with being able to maneuver inside the pocket most of the time because of their footwork, especially for Drake May. But Williams has the better movement right now inside the pocket. Drake May, however, is better at making reads down the field because Lincoln Riley's scheme at USC. That was a tight window. That was a very tight window. He had to have accuracy, arm strength, and uh, uh, touch, the right touch, the right zip to get that into that, that little hole right there. He doesn't often require the quarterback to watch high safety coverage. And as a result, Caleb Williams often struggles to read down the field, especially on the deep ball if it isn't a 50-50 ball. Whereas Drake May is so accurate down the field that he's very good at avoiding those high safety coverages. Both of these players have incredible arms, as you know at this point. But May has the better deep ball, while Williams has the better overall arm talent, making off-balance passes, sidearm passes, fitting balls in places you literally can't fit. Drake May is not as good at that kind of stuff. However, Drake May is the better pure runner, like I said earlier, because of his size. He's way harder to bring down, just not as athletic as Caleb Williams. As amazing as both these guys are, the player I like more is... Caleb Williams. It goes without a question that these two quarterbacks could be as generational as it gets, and they will both go in the top two of the next draft at 2024. But look at Caleb Williams, and look at Patrick Mahomes. That's really all that needs to be said. There will never... I agree. Uh, of the two, I do like Caleb Williams <laughs> way. Like I said, even though I don't think Caleb Williams is Patrick Mahomes. Everybody keep comparing them and all this stuff, which is cool. That's what you do. You compare the number one dudes in the college and high school to the number one dude in the NFL. Uh, and I, like I said, I get it, but <clears throat> I just see more Aaron Rodgers, man, personally. I see more Aaron Rodgers, honestly. So, uh, But let me know who y'all got in the comments. Who you got? Kayla Williams, Drake May, Michael Penix. Who you got? Bo, you better not. You better not. You better not say Bo Nix. You say Bo Nix, I'm going to come get you. I'm going to come get you. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below.